Hi guys, thanks for joining. I'm gonna show you today how I make a hand-tied bouquet. So uh, the first thing I start with is I'm gonna grab a focal flower and this is a beautiful lupin. Uh, it was a surprise pink variety that I had growing that uh, I had transplanted last year and it came back beautifully. So I'm gonna start with pink. Uh, my color palette is pink, uh, hot pink, some cream, some whites. And I'm gonna start with my focal and I'm going to pop in some greenery and this is just regular field crest. So I'm gonna pop in that field crest and uh, I made sure all of my stems are completely stripped before I started, but with this crest, I have a few little on the bottom that I'm gonna grab. I'm just gonna uh, put my loop in just a little bit up. Next, I'm gonna put in a filler of some kind. I'll look around a little bit and kind of decide. I think I'm gonna use an, an, an anemone Try not to say that too fast. Okay, so some beautiful anemone. So I have that first, uh, those first three in my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and put in another piece, a little greenery. I'm just gonna stick in some dock and another um, focal, this fluffy ranunculus that uh, had definitely caught my eye out in the field. It was blown and amazing. You can see how lovely it looks. I'm gonna pop that in and I'm gonna turn my bouquet in my hand just a little bit. And we can adjust some of these as we go. So I turn the bouquet so it's facing you a little bit. I'm gonna pop in some of this uh, lady's mantle, which uh, the chartreuse is gonna be really a, a nice contrast as we do this bouquet. The chartreuse really looks beautiful with the pink. And I have some other chartreuse greenery that we're gonna be using to complement this a little bit. I'm gonna pop that guy in and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, one of my big peonies. And I love the peonies, they're amazing. And they're gonna add a lot of wonderful fragrance to this bouquet. So I'm putting my peony a little bit lower. I'm gonna tuck in a little bit more greenery. I'm gonna put in my apple mint. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep just consistently tucking in some of my other uh, flowers that I have here while I, in tandem, continue to spin this bouquet around and, and put more flowers in. I'm gonna put another piece of greenery in. I'm being pretty arbitrary because I know once this is finished, I can tuck more in as I go. Uh, more flowers or uh, things that are gonna make it sparkle a little bit. The anemone is not open yet, but that's okay. Uh, it's gonna open up overnight and whoever the lucky winner of this bouquet is, is gonna have that to be able to enjoy for a very long time, hopefully in a vase. I'm gonna pop in my Dianthus uh, Sweet William. This is just to complement kind of this uh, pink and hot pink palette that I'm doing. It's a nice pop of color that's gonna make it not, not look so blended. So this is kind of a bold use of color that I'm gonna tuck in here. But I think it's gonna look fantastic. The key is just to remember to keep turning your bouquet in your hand. I used anemone. Um, I'm gonna put in, a, uh, <laughs> If you guys know me well, I tuck purple into almost everything that I have, and this is actually Nepeta, a cat mint. I love the smell of Nepeta. I'm kind of, it's, uh, Adam said it was a reminiscent smell for, for him from his time living in Alaska uh, from the wilderness. Okay, I'm gonna tuck in that chartreuse greenery that I was kind of telling you about that's really gonna look beautiful with this uh, lady's mantle. I'm just, I only have a few pieces, so I'm just gonna tuck it in here and there. I'm gonna put in another peony, and you can see my peony's closed. It's gonna pop right open. Uh, it's really swollen, so it's gonna pop open like in a couple hours probably if I leave it out of the cool temps. Okay. So, so, so gorgeous. I almost forgot to turn it. I'm gonna turn it just slightly in my hand. I'm gonna pop in some more cress. Starting to take shape. Uh, I'm gonna pop in my other lupin. I only had three, so all three are in the bouquet right now. So they're in. I'm gonna put in more ranunculus. And I'm gonna put in a darker color ranunculus. I've been putting in the light pink, which you guys have probably seen. 
I'm putting in just a, a violet colored ranunculus. Uh oh, I didn't strip my, strip my stems on that, so I'm gonna have to go back and probably do that. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck it in. <laughs> okay, um, tucking in, this is actually um, flowering quince foliage, putting that in. Um, I'm saving some of these details for last. This is like a little uh, wildflower grass that's growing around here, but if, I'm going to go tuck them in in little places and it's going to add a little sparkle to my bouquet. Oh, that guy's... Um, it's in the middle of the, of the day and I cut some of my apple mint, so it's kind of getting a little bit wilty. It's not very happy with me right now. So I might wait on that and leave that out for a little bit. So I just tucked in it on my last peony on the side here. And I'm gonna put in a little bit more nepeta and another little piece of greenery, just a small one. And I'm gonna keep spinning, pop in more nepeta. Oh, I already did, sorry, whoops. Uh, anemone. And then I'm going to put in my lady's mantle. Hold, hold on, ladies, hold on. My lady's mantle. Beautiful. Pop in my last piece of uh, chartreuse greenery. Such a unique color, I really love it. Okay. Popping it on at Renuk. And I'm kind of, um, I started high and as I go around, I'm kind of lowering some of my flowers so that they can be closer to the bottom. Uh, so I just tucked in that ranunculus and I, I put it a little bit lower than how I started when I first started going around. Popping in another anemone. And if I get that, I'm gonna pop in another ranunculus. Uh, I just love that violet ranunculus. It's such an eye grab uh, with that bold color. And I really like the dianthus in here usually. I don't like a ton of color or bicolor, but I love the way that looks. I'm gonna, I have one stem of this salvia and I'm just gonna pop it in for interest. I'm gonna have it, let it have its little moment over here. Popping in more nepeta. So beautiful, oh my gosh. Popping in my ladies' mantle. Started, really starting to take shape and look beautiful. Okay. Still spinning. I'm gonna pop in some more greenery. Or that dock. Uh, the dock is pretty young, so I'm needing to get it in water right away so that it'll perk back up. save these little details for the very end. This is Sapinaria, uh, which is a little bit of a, a little sparkle that I'm going to add into my bouquet. Same thing with my, um, oh gosh, my Valerian here. It's going to look really beautiful. And then the other little detail I have to tuck in are these little coral bells from the heuchera that we grow. So that'll be really pretty. Those are the little details I wait to add until the very end. So I'm gonna pop in my last dianthus and spin it. Another piece of little greenery. And I'm gonna tuck in an, an anemone right behind it. Flipping, nepeta. My other little uh, violet renuk. Sinking it down just a little bit. And don't forget to turn this in your hand. My last piece. Thought that I thought the other one was my last piece. No. Okay. Beautiful. It's really coming together. Okay, and I'm gonna put a piece of greenery in.
this is my uh, little base for my bouquet right now. I'm gonna go tuck in some of these little extra little things that I kind of called out to you guys. The other kind of special thing I'm gonna tuck in here probably are some of these honeysuckle vines. And I just think that'll look natural and very organic looking coming out of, coming out of the design itself. I went ahead and stuck one in so you can see what it looks like. But everyone loves the vines. It just really gives it a beautiful look. So you can see it just looks a little bit more natural and organic looking for the bouquet itself. This vine kind of acts like it wants to go down like that, so I may let it, I don't know. Uh, I like to have a mirror close so I can kind of take a look at my bouquets as I'm making them. I don't have one close to me, so I'm gonna, you guys are gonna have to bear with me and <laughs> work with me while I don't have that, uh, the mirror close to take a peek at what this looks like from, the, from your perspective. Whoops, can't get that one in, that's okay. Moving on. I'm gonna tuck this uh, feathery little little grass down in here a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna leave that guy up high so you can, you can kind of see what it looks like there. This is so gorgeous. And I just have extra ranunculus and anemone and I'm just gonna pop them in randomly. On the top, it looks like there was a little bit of a hole, so I'm gonna kind of patch it up by sticking this anemone in. And I'm gonna sink it down just a little bit on the top part of the bouquet, popped it here. And then that valerian that we talked about, I'm gonna pop him in. I love valerian because the pollinators love it so much. There it is. Had another little piece of nepeta I slipped in. The coral bells. Looks so gorgeous. Popped it in. And I'm just gonna continue to tuck in some of those sparkly little details that you guys get a general idea for how I do a hand-tied bouquet. Uh, to finish it off, I'll actually take some of this floral uh, adhesive and I'll take it and wrap it around. I'll trim my stems at the bottom, usually uh, just kind of eyeballing it, trimming them straight across, and you can see my beautiful hand-tied bouquet. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'll try to post some more little design nuggets uh, as, as we go through the season.